Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com, and this is part three of our Android app automation with Robotium testing series. And in this part, we're going to talk about the different tools available for Android automation testing. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part two since it's going to completely depend on those parts. Tools for Android automations. So there are different types of automation testing tools available for Android, and some of the most popular are Robotium, Selendroid, Appium, Esperzo, Ranorex, Monkey Talk, etc. And we're going to talk a little bit on some of these different types of automation testing tools. The first one is Robotium, and this is what is going to be the tool which we're going to discuss in this series and we will cover it in a lot more detail in upcoming videos of this series and I have a plan to have different automation testing tools series as well which we will have them in later videos of this video series but as of now in this series we're going to cover only Robotium. So Robotium is an Android automation testing automation framework that has full support for native and hybrid applications. So as we already discussed the different types of Android applications, native and hybrid, this is supported in Robotium. Robotium makes it easy to write powerful and robust automatic black box UI test for Android applications. With the support of Robotium, test case developers can write functions, systems, and user acceptance test scenarios spanning multiple Android activities. So don't worry about all these things right now because we will cover about them in detail in upcoming videos of this video series. The next tool is Selendroid. Selendroid is a test automation framework again which drives off the UI of Android's native and hybrid application. Again this supports native and hybrid applications of Android and the mobile web as well. So tests are written using Selenium 2 client API. So Selendroid is going to fully use the selenium 2 clients api so that is the name selenium and android as selendroid so it is selenium for android so the person who has a very good knowledge in selenium can easily learn this tool because it's going to completely work more like selenium so there is no modification of the application under test is required while using selendroid and that is the most important concept here but even in robotium we will not be changing anything in the application under test but still in our project we will be referencing the library of our application under test well we'll cover more about that in upcoming videos of this video series so don't worry about that as of now and also supports parallel testing using selenium grid and it has a built-in inspector to locate the elements the next tool which we are going to discuss is appium so the Appium is built on the idea that testing native apps shouldn't require including an SDK or recompiling your application and that you should be able to use preferred test practices, frameworks and tools. So Appium is an open source project and has made design and tool decisions to encourage vibrant contributing communities. So you can even contribute if you have a very good understanding of how Appium works and you can also like write some libraries for Appium as well. And the last tool which we're going to discuss in this topic is Esperzo. So Esperzo is yet another automation testing tool or an API to be more precise for Android which is pretty small, concise and easy to learn. So Esperzo was introduced on GTalk 2013 conference and the goal is to let developer write a concise code for testing UI of applications. So even though the target audience for Espresso are developers, as mentioned by Google, I don't think it is completely wide for testers since the Espresso leverages some of the potential key features which Robotium and Selendroid lacks. So you can learn more about this topic from the link below. So we have already discussed about Espresso in greater detail in our ExitAutomation.com website. So you can always go ahead and learn more about Selendroid in greater detail. So that's it guys, these are the different types of automation testing tools available in Android and maybe in future we'll cover all these tools in greater detail in upcoming videos of this video series. But for this video series we're going to cover only Robotium. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.